What's up guys, Zalakai here. And I just wanted to do a follow-up video to the Ultimate GH5 rig, my my little bundle studio kit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I wanted to tell you guys about the tripod that I have. Well, it's not a tripod, the monopod that I have. And it's really good, it's budget friendly, it's not, and a lot of people have the Manfrotto tripods, but they cost like two to $400 for one of those, just one. And I don't even think that includes the actual ball, the swivel ball head. So this, I believe, was 120 for the aluminum. They also have a carbon fiber model that is about, I want to say, 180 For those in mind with the tight budget but still want something good, this right here is the Coleman Monopod. Uh, model KX3232 aluminum monopod tripod. Really nice. Has a nice firm grip right here easy to handle it has a built-in strap so if you have it on your hand you don't want it to fall over definitely a good thing to have you can raise and lower the the handlebar right here which you use to pan left and right the legs fold up and down like so boom just like that and then right here you have the oh, let me lift it up a little bit and this thing gets really tall. I'll just put it right about there. I'll put it a little lower so you guys can at least see the handle. Okay. And then at the base right here, there's a little knob that you twist. Got it. Got it. Don't worry. Okay. So if you twist that. Okay. So now it's not locked. It's unlocked down there. So you bring it down. You can turn it. You can kind of go forward and back a little bit if you need to because it's a ball head down there so you're able to pan it around forward, back, and turn it at the same time. Heck, if you just need a monopod on the go, this is the perfect one. It folds up really compact. It's a very sturdy monopod and I really like it. I haven't had any issues with it. Nothing's falling apart. It's really stable, the bottom part. Once you tighten the... Once you tighten the ball head down there, it stays still. You don't really have to worry about it. But for the GH5, it works fine. And what I did, I modified it this way. And so you can use this. You tighten it, And I put on a Joby tripod head. Because when you're vlogging or you want a quick use of it, you have the Joby at all times. So I figured, well, why not get another head, tripod head or ball head, put it on this. That way it's as simple as, let me see, where's it at? You have this little thing. I think these are like four or five bucks on Amazon. Pretty much put the camera on there, you lock it in, and then if this is always on there, all you have to do is take the camera out with this on the camera, slide it into your Joby tripod, and you're good to go. You can instantly go back and forth between this monopod and your Joby tripod. Makes it a little more convenient. I don't know how many of you guys use both or would be interested in this and using the Joby. I love this tripod head right here, this ball head. And it works fine for the G7, the GH5, the G85. And I just like the convenience of being able to just, boom, slide the camera off, slide the camera back on. Simple as that. Comes in handy with this. Instead of having to unscrew this, take the plate out, you just have to deal with this and that's it. So I definitely would use this as an accessory to, on, to use on top of this. Not required, but I just recommend it. It's easier to get off rather than using this. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can... This little knob right here, up and down. So you can do left, right, up, down, the whole bit, all at the same time. Like I said, really convenient monopod. Durable. I like what it's built out of. Seems strong. Hopefully it lasts a while. This, alongside with my GH5 rig that I have, is pretty much my main studio setup. So if any of you guys are interested in that, I'll leave a link down below to this, and I'll link you to the other video which is the actual build to the GH5 Ultimate setup. And like I said, I wanted to keep it budget friendly. I didn't want to spend too much on it because I had already blown my budget buying the camera. And I know that was where my main priority was. Yeah, none of this stuff is really expensive, but I tried to pick the best stuff and not go cheap, too cheap. I know there's other monopods that are like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Then there's some that are $200, $300. I tried to find something that was in between 
and this actually had no reviews so I decided to pick it up on a whim and I really do like it so if you guys are interested I'll leave a link down to this below on Amazon go ahead and check it out I believe it's 110 or 120 not too bad considering that it's really sturdy very portable and very convenient So yeah guys, that is the Coleman Monopod. Go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, till next time. Later.